Shalom everyone. Today we are here with an, another scripture. Uh, let us see John chapter number 9 and from verse number 35. So the whole story revolves around a blind man who got healed by Jesus, but he doesn't know that who healed him. So the Pharisees of the town come in and interrogate him whether who has healed him. The blind man says, I do not know who has healed me. And from verse number 35, as we read, Jesus heard that they had thrown him out. And when he found him, he said, Do you believe in the Son of Man? Who is he, sir? The man asked. Tell me so that I may believe in him. Jesus said, You have now seen him. In fact, he is the one speaking with you. Then the man said, Lord, I believe, and he worshipped him. Jesus said, For judgment I have come into this world, so that the blind will see, and those who see will become blind. How do we understand this scripture? Here Jesus says that if you were blind, you would not be guilty of sin. But now that you claim you see, your guilt remains. So here, as we meditate on this word, Jesus is speaking about the spiritual blindness. Spiritual blindness is nothing but lack of knowing the truth. Until, until verse number 35, the man who was blind could see physically. But when we read verse number 37, Jesus said, you have now seen him. Until then, he was spiritually blinded. He could, the blind man could physically see but he was spiritually blinded until we read the verse number 37. The blind man believed that he is the Lord and worshipped him. That means he has known the truth that Jesus is the Lord. And now he is not spiritually blinded. When we see verse number 39, Jesus said, For judgment I have come into this world so that the blind will see and those who see will become blind. The blind man believed that he doesn't know the truth. Hence, his eyes were opened and he could see that Jesus is the Lord. As we read verse number 40, some Pharisees who were with him heard him say this and asked, What? Are we blind too? They are claiming that they can see. When we uh, continue the reading, Jesus said, if, we, if you were blind, you would not be guilty of the sin. But now that you claim you can see, your guilt remains. So the one who claims that they can see will become blind and the one who is accepting the truth that they are blind will see. So if you do not accept the truth, you are sinning against God. Here Pharisees did not accept that they do not know the truth. They believed that they could see, hence they became blind. The blind man believed that he couldn't see, hence his eyes were opened.